Hi, it's Pat and John Mark here with you for our weekly update. We're going to do something a little different this week. You're used to seeing us in some kind of silly situation. Outfit. Or funny. Con I've got an outfit for that. <laughs> Uh, but today we just want to reflect a bit on what God's been doing at our church over the last couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. Folks have been being saved. Uh, I was actually gone on a trip these past two weeks. But John Mark, what's God been doing? Well, the overwhelming power of the Holy Spirit has been in the room in both services um, this week. And uh, we've had people coming in the response time at the altar time uh, just overwhelmed with, uh, with joy. And uh, it's just been a, it's been, it's been such a good time and it's been a, a refreshing time for us. And, I, you know, I fully anticipate it continuing on yeah. this week and I, and I think we should expect that. Um, you know, sometimes people see those things and go, well, this was a man-made thing. Right. What did you do to do that? How did you do the songs? Right. How did exactly. you do the sermon? Yeah. But it, it, cert more than cert that? Yeah, it certainly was not a manufactured thing whatsoever. And, um, and I was just telling some of our other folks uh, before before we sat down to do this, just just this past Sunday, there was a couple times I just was overwhelmed with just, I just started crying, just leading the last song, just had to step back away from the microphone. It was just, it was just so overwhelming in the room. And, and uh, it was just, you know, I, and I've been in, in many services throughout my life and, and I've felt like I've seen things sometimes that, that you might call manufactured or man-made, but this was definitely an authentic move of the Holy Spirit. I know in uh, hearing from Dr. Easley related to this that one of the things at the end of his sermon two weeks ago mm -hmm. where he did the illustration of the wheat and the tares, yeah. it's not even really planned by him in advance That's that exactly God laid right. that on his heart at the beginning of it and it's those times when God reaches out to us when we're not expecting That's it right. that are so many times the most powerful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and you could tell even during the service that that wasn't in our service sermon notes or anything like that you know, that we get beforehand. And when he went into that section there, uh, we, we were already on stage in our service. And uh, I, I just, uh, I, I just, I'm so thankful that he uh, led through that time in obedience. Yeah, you know I'm old school and yeah. I'm very routine in what yeah. I do and sometimes I just have to say to God, well, you know, you can't work here. That's not in the order of worship. <laughs> we didn't plan time for that. Right. But isn't it incredible it when is. God just steps in in a moment it really and is. you know that. It really is. I mean, He can do that in our individual lives as well. It doesn't that's, have to just be a exactly Sunday morning. Right. That's exactly right. I, and that invitation time, just it, it extends, for, and we've said that before, you and I both, from the microphone, that extends far beyond the end of our service. Absolutely. You know, and, and uh, so I'm looking forward to this Sunday. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Yeah. Easley, this will be his this will be his final Sunday that's with right. us. That's yeah. right. So um, if you hadn't had the opportunity to come and, and see him, you definitely need to try to be here this Sunday. Or if you have and you want to say goodbye to yeah. him, tell him thank you for all that he's done. Uh, he's actually going to First Baptist uh, Cleveland, Tennessee, yes. where his son is the pastor, mm -hmm. and he's going to go on staff there, and so he'll be moving there. But the good news is Dr. Singh Oldham is yes. coming back to be with us. I'm excited to have Singh back with yeah, us. Yeah, wonderful man who cares about us and is as Dr. Easley did, and we're going to hear from him. God's going to work through him. And the great thing that I think is not that well, Dr. Easley has been here and we've seen all these things and now another man comes and we're not going to see these things. Right. It's the same God. It's the same God. And I, and I fully expect uh, for, for the same power uh, to be here in the room. Yeah. Not for the show, mm. but for the reality and for the presence exactly. of God. We invite you to be here with us this Sunday at 830 or 11. One in Christ.